Jim, today was one of the masked men I saw before. I, I'm sure of it. I'll take some men in the truck with me. Have a look along the road. Jim's coming down. What do you do? A couple of high fighters just slept Bill got away with our pickup truck. That cinches it. They're after Jim. Have three of the men go with me. Ruth, you come along too. Do you need her? Oh, I can't stay here, Dad. If something should happen to Jim or both, and I... Oh, come on, let's get a look at that truck. Why are you hoofing it? Where's the truck? Right at the bottom of the hill. Did the load get away from you? Not exactly. Well, we were doing all right till the truck pulled up right in front of us in the middle of the road. Is it our pickup truck? Well, we didn't have time to stop and look. Yeah. Let's see it. young Hudson. Good work, Brandon. I thought that'd make you happy, House. How did you do it? I'll tell you the story later. First, we're paying a visit to the Gunsight Mine. Go down and get rid of that truck I've been using. Take him out. Come on. Get the watchman. Work fast, but keep quiet. You fellas come with me. You too, House. Nothing can be done about the truck. It shouldn't be hard for the men to get the timber out of there. We can get to it easier from the lower level.
That's it. Everybody is. I'm probably asleep where we ought to be. Well, that doesn't account for the watchman. Well, here he is. Somebody's knocked him out. Bolson, take care of it. I wonder if Dad's all right. Discovery of our time. How soon can you set it up and have it working? Depends on whether we have rods. I took everything from the laboratory I thought would be of value. I'll do the best I can. But Jim, I tell you, I was right here all the time. I don't see how. This is terrible. A weapon of such terrific power in the hands of those men. Why, they wouldn't hesitate to use it on anything or anybody. I know, I know. But don't worry about it. Doc will get it back. From now on, nothing else matters till we do. Oh. If you need any help, sing out. I'll go tell Brock we finally made it. VR to HB. VR to HB. Come in, HB. Come in, Brandon. Well, Chief, we made it. Everything worked out according to plan. Good. What about the Paratron? We've got the Paratron here at the ranch. Dr. House is putting it together now. And we'll be able to cover every bit of territory within a radius of 100 miles. You do the piloting, I'll do the observing. Well, I think that's an excellent plan. Perhaps, but why tomorrow night? Well, if they can put the Paratron together, they'll certainly want to use it. And if they do, we'll be able to see that light for 50 miles. What I want to know is where are you going to get the plane? I'll go in town tomorrow and ask Mr. Brock. So far, he's been able to give us anything we've wanted. And I hope it works. <laughs> How much would a thing like that cost, Doc? I don't know. It's hard to say. A million dollars, perhaps? A million dollars? You meddlesome pig! I told you to keep your hands off! You think you can operate it? Blundering food hasn't damaged it. Well, I guess that's all right. Here, this is the energized quartz Dr. Miller came north for. It is the secret of the Paratron's miraculous power. Let's see you make it work, Doc. Try it out on that tree up on the hill there.
That's hot stuff, Doc. What makes it tick? Apparently some form of atomic energy. I should like to have seen Dr. Miller's face when he realized what he had created. I'd like to have seen him when he realized it was gone. What do you think Brock is going to do with it? Probably send it abroad as soon as possible. You know, you can't hide a thing like this. I hope he does not take it away from me too soon. Such a long time has passed since I have worked in it. Yes? There's Mr. Jim Hudson here to see you. Jim Hudson? Send him in. Hello, Hudson. Hello, Mr. Brock. Sit down. Thank you. How are things going? That's a good. Could you help me rent a plane? Well, I'll try. Almost anything will do. It's just for some local flying. Well, I don't want to appear unduly curious, but if I had more of an idea of what you wanted for. It's no secret. I want to find Dr. Miller's paratron. Paratron? Yes, you know his invention? You've heard me speak of it. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Uh, don't tell me it's gone. That's right, it is. Well, you seem so concerned. Is it that important? It's extremely important. That machine in the hands of the wrong people could be a terribly destructive weapon. Well, but didn't you say that its commercial use was to convey substance through space? It was, until Dr. Miller developed it far beyond that point. But what about the plane, sir? <clears throat> Hello. Give me 752. Hello, Paul. This is Brock talking. Say, can you rent me a small plane for local flying? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. You got an old two-seater biplane they use as a trainer. Well, that'll be fine. Ask him if it has landing lights. Does it have landing lights? Yeah, well, have it serviced and ready to fly. Jim Hudson will pick it up. Thanks a lot, Mr. Brock. I hate to be always calling on you. Oh, don't mention it. Glad to be of help. I'll go right down and get it. I want to get started tonight before the thieves cover too much territory. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks again. Now is your chance to test the destructive power of the Paratron. Tonight. Okay, we'll be waiting for him. And this time, don't report his death until you're sure of it. Right. Anything else? No. When you hit 10 pounds of cut your motor and glide in a wide spiral, Hear that plane? No. There's one up there. It must be Hudson. It would be a simple thing to find out. Train that gadget on the rocks over there. Just a flash. Oh, I see. You think they're experimenting? That's the idea. Get over that beam! 
shooting dock. Too bad that mountain cuts off the view of the fireworks. 